and welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estate platform. I'm your host today. My name is Ajoa Adi and this is the Motherland series. We're going to be hearing stories and journeys and inspiring, you know, life occurrences. Today I have a wonderful couple with me in our office. Um, I'm, I'm actually very excited for this and I honestly can't wait to hear everything that they have to tell us about their lives and about their journey so far. So, Preston and Shirley, welcome to the Royal Kingdom Estate platform. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. How are you doing today? We're good. Yeah, we're well. Yeah, Happy you're well. Strong. Yes. Everything yes. is fine. Yes. yes. Wonderful. That's amazing. So to start off, <clears throat> can you please, let me start with Preston. Can you please tell us about yourself, your background? You're from Philadelphia. Yes. Right? Where are you um, originally from? Where were you born? And where are some of the places that you've lived at? Well, as originally I was born in Philadelphia, okay. Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay. Um, I, w I left for a while. I was mm -hmm. in the military. Okay. And then after that, I went back to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. um, traveled a bit because I was, um, um, we'll say, an executive okay. for a telecommunications company. Oh, that's lovely. So I had a, traveled a lot mm. within the U.S. Okay. And... Uh, after I finished that, actually, I came here to, to Ghana for a while, mm -hmm. uh, back and forth, because we had put a company together called Inter Africa Business Development Network. Okay. And it was um, five Americans mm -hmm. and three Ghanaians. Okay. And we were doing some work in Kamasi for a while. And, oh. <clears throat> and that's why I was coming back and forth. Okay. But then in 2005, that kind of ceased. Okay. Um, we were doing some work and then when uh, it, it kind of ceased then. So I haven't been back. Back since, in Ghana. Back during, in Ghana. Since 2005. I came back, we came, what, 2022? Yes, 2022. 2022? You came, came back, back around 2022. that time? Yes. Okay. Because Shirley wanted to buy a house. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about settling down a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't really feel comfortable that I wanted to be in the U.S. Right. So I said, well, let me, let me look around. Why didn't you want to be in the U.S.? Well, because I don't want to be in the U.S. while I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even something we, we should be laughing about. <laughs> Wow, that, you know, I understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stay alive. You know? True. <laughs> so, True. So. <laughs> okay, so you decided um, to settle somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, to, during... keep, to keep the stress level down. Yeah, okay. You know, That's what um, not only that, I wanted, I wanted my children mm. to understand mm. what it's like to be in Africa. Right. Because it, cause they keep saying, yeah, why do you keep going back to, why do you keep going back and forth mm -hmm. to, to Ghana? You know, I said, I said, I love it there. You know, and I do. I said, I love it there. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm doing now. That's why I came to, to Royal Kingdom. I, I want to get a, a couple of plots, which mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. And build a, a home base so that here in Ghana, so that when they want to come, they'll have a place to come to. Yeah. You yeah. know, all they need the is their airfare. Yeah. And they can come and just hang out, buy their food, see what the opportunities mm -hmm. are, yeah. and maybe stay or not stay, it's up to them. But I want them to have the opportunity, yeah. at least. That's great. So while I can do that, if uh, the creator keeps my health and strength up, mm -hmm. then that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I, I, I actually look forward to it. But let me come to you, Shirley. <clears throat> Yes. Can you tell us a bit about yourself as well? Oh, I, um, I too am from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. However, I was born in Virginia. Okay. Um, but from a very young age, mm. um, my parents took us uh, up to um, Philadelphia. Yeah. So I've been there most of my life. Okay. And um, I like to travel. And so I've traveled a lot of different places, wow. but hadn't been to the motherland yet. Okay. And, at some point, I learned through African ancestry mm -hmm. that um, my lineage is, um, I'm a Santi of the Akan. Mm -hmm. And so then, of course, Ghana became a highlight for yes, me. Yes, we, we just jumped to the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so, um, you know, I, I uh, began looking around and mm -hmm. researching and um, uh, decided I wanted to come here and okay. be here. 
Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Let me touch on the both of you a little bit. How did you meet? <laughs> who who would take that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, let me put it like this. Okay. We we met years ago. Okay. Okay. Years like what? Forty years ago. Wow. Maybe more. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 But then we lost track of each other. Yeah. Okay. We ran our separate lives. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. And then <laughs> then I was in I was in a store. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen her in like forty years. Mm -hmm. I was in a store <clears throat> and I saw a friend of mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. And she was near the friend. Oh. So I looked at her. I said, you know, and I I remembered her, but she didn't remember Shirley? me. <laughs> Is that Shirley? <laughs> but she didn't remember me. Oh. <laughs> so, but uh, after after that, she got she she wound up. I guess yeah. at some point she yeah. remembered me and got in touch with me. Oh. Try to place a finger on it. Where was it? Where was the place? Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. And you've been together ever since. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I just love to hear, you know, stories like this is so inspiring. And what is one thing that you would say for our viewers? What's one thing that you would say has kept you together all these years? Just thinking alike. Mm -hmm. Thinking alike. And yeah. then like minds. Yeah, like minds. And <clears throat> She's a master at not giving me stress. <laughs> <laughs> Zero stress. That's good. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So, okay, okay, that's understandable. <laughs> now let's come to the real estate side of things. How did you hear of Royal Kingdom Estate? Was it through YouTube as well? Yes. Yeah, through YouTube. Okay. Uh, we were looking at the Botley's channel. Mm -hmm. And, um, we're just following them along, yeah. and they seemed to be so satisfied mm. with what they were with what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And before that, uh, we had gone down to a sable. Yes, we had gone there because mm -hmm. I was thinking about buying right. land there. Oh, a sable. Yeah. Yeah. So we went there, and I wasn't quite feeling that. Okay. You know, and then um, to uh, it was just. I was, we were just looking at different places yeah. and I didn't really feel like this is where, mm -hmm. anywhere was where Nothing I wanted to be. Nothing really touched you. Yeah, until I went to Royal Kingdom to, I went, I went, this, yeah, this is, this is it. Yes. Is, you you know, got to Grey City Phase Grey City. 3. Yes. yes. And you said, yes. this is home. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, I said, yeah, yes. this is it. Oh, you know, this, that makes me so happy. What about, <laughs> what about Grey City do you like? Is it the view? Is it the landscape? Well, it's the landscape. Mm. It's the it's the view. It's the it's the feel of yeah. the place. It's mm. close enough to wherever you want to get to. You can get there, especially with the roads being right. improved. Yeah, you can get anywhere in an hour, hour and a half, mm. two hours. Mm -hmm. True. You know? mm -hmm. So it's like, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Mm. Let's you know? see, Shirley, it's the mm -hmm. same for you. Yes, yes. Um, went up there, uh, saw the view. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I see uh, the the organization, yeah. okay, in in the whole layout, the effort, uh, the assistance mm. um, that we're being given, being given the the questions mm -hmm. are all answered very thoroughly. Yeah, so right. that we are very clear in our understanding mm -hmm. of what's taking place and what's to take place. Yeah, you know, so. Uh, it's like a no-brainer. Yeah, <laughs> and I was very, I am very impressed mm -hmm. with the level of expertise Thank that, you. that you, that's been expressed. Thank you, know, you Especially very when it much. comes down to details. Yeah. Right. In terms of um, building and mm. building assistance and understanding the land and how mm -hmm. it would work and what yes. would work and what wouldn't work, right. and I feel very comfortable mm -hmm. that. I'm in good hands when it comes down to trying to understand those yeah. things when it comes to when it comes to actually building mm -hmm. the, the, the progress. Yeah, we take pride in making sure that all of our clients understand, you know, not just purchasing the land, but what it comes with, how living in the country is going to be like, how, you know, getting everything else that's attached to being a homeowner or a landowner in Ghana. We make sure that you understand all the fundamentals and everything that comes right. with it so you can make an informed decision yes. for your future. So I'm so glad that you found us mm -hmm. and now you're part of the family. Uh, yes. So I'm guessing <laughs> the process was very um, easy oh, yes. for you. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. 
The, the only thing that wasn't easy was actually getting American money into Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> That was tough, huh? Oh, yeah. It was tough. <laughs> but it's here now. Yeah, it's, it's we here. got it. We got it here. Congratulations. <laughs> that's, yes. that's wonderful. But as somebody, this is super sin, as somebody that has been, you know, coming in and out of Ghana, you were here in 20, uh, 2005, you were here in 2022, and now you're back here again. What are some of the things that you're glad has improved for someone that is coming from outside to looking to relocate in Ghana? Well, the mm. idea that I can live uh, closer mm. to mm. what I'm used to yeah. in, in the U.S. Yeah. You know, the roads have improved. Yes. I mean, a lot of people complain about Ghanaian roads. <laughs> when I was coming here, it took yeah. 12 hours to get from Accra to Kamasi. Oh. <laughs> if you could get there. <laughs> You can get there. In the rainy season. Okay. So, but now you yeah. can actually drive all the way there. Yeah. You know? Yes. <laughs> so it's like, you can. Those, and, much, those, and much less time. Right. right. And those kinds of things, a lot of people don't realize that the, the progress, mm. the electricity yeah. that's everywhere, the, the actual paved roads. Mm. There were no paved roads then. All, all the roads were dirt roads. Yeah. So it's like, when I see the, so when I'm looking, and there was no tall buildings. Mm -hmm. There were no tall buildings and there were no overpass. Right. So all of this is new. Mm -hmm. So when I saw, I said, wow, this is all good. It's good stuff. But the icing on the cake mm -hmm. was the mall. The mall? The mall. <laughs> okay. And the icing on the mall was mm -hmm. the shop right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because that's, a lot my, of icing. that's my favorite store in oh, the U.S. <laughs> I see. So, so you can get that's all of funny. the stuff that you usually get yeah. out there. Yeah, so oh, oh, I've got a, a shop right. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I told my daughter that, she said, Dad, what, you, what are you doing? I said, I'm going, to, I'm going to the mall. I said, I'm going to a shop right. She was like, she was silent on the line. She was, <laughs> she said, I'm all she right. said, I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, she couldn't believe it. I said, yeah, we'll go to the mall. She said, they have malls? I said, yeah. <laughs> we do. Yeah. It's always nice listening to uh, people that have not heard of or have not seen or been to, you know, Africa, let me right. put it in general. Because yeah. what they show you in the mainstream media outside exactly. is not what you see when you right. come here. Exactly. When you come here, it's a whole different experience. Right. That's why at RKE, we always advise when you have the time or the chance, come down, experience everything for yourself, right. you know? Right. It's always better that way. Well, wow, okay. So <laughs> you have learned at Gracie's Phase 3. What do you plan on doing with it? Well, <clears throat> like I said, I want to build a place where my children can yeah. come. Yeah. So I'll probably have maybe some apartments mm -hmm. on, the, on the plot. So that yeah. My grandchildren and my mm -hmm. my children and some extended family can yeah. come. They, they're not all bunched in one place. Mm -hmm. So this way, if I have a few apartments that yeah. on the land that they can come to oh, and, so and stay. Nice. And, th and they can actually look around and see what the opportunities are mm -hmm. in Ghana. And I was trying to explain to them. I said, I said you're, you're struggling mm -hmm. in America. I said, when you could take that same energy and go three, four, five times as far. Yeah. In Ghana, so you know, like come and take a look. Oh, well, you know, Dad, you know, like you know, we yeah. don't, we don't know. I said, well, you gotta come. <laughs> yeah, to said, come to know. So, yeah. so I want to get have a place for them to come mm. to. And we've been meeting some very nice people since we've been here. Yeah, so you've can... been networking. Yes. yes. Nice. Yes. You've yes. met yes. some of your neighbors. Right. And, yes. And then yes. some YouTubers yes. and yeah. people like that. Yeah. So That's now, nice. When we say when I bring them here, mm -hmm. I can introduce them to people right. who've been here mm -hmm. and who've gone through the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who love it here mm -hmm. and who are happy here. Yeah. So yes. now. And, and who have also taken advantage of so many opportunities yeah. to, to grow because they're all they're all young. You know, so yeah. that's what I want. I want them to come here while they're young. Mm -hmm. And just have the full experience. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. Yes. And this finally to you, Shirley, yes. what would you say to people or diasporas that are looking to relocate to Ghana but are having doubts? Because it's a big move and they don't know uh, if it will be a good one. And some people are just scared that they will not have, you know, good experiences here. But you have been here, you've been able to acquire land. You are a landowner now. Yes. What would you say to them? I would say um, 
come to visit a couple of times mm -hmm. to see if it's a place for you. Yeah. Um, this time when we came, we uh, we stayed for our longest period, mm. which is six weeks. Okay. You know, and so. Um, and each of the times we come, we, we learn a little more. Mm -hmm. We learn a little more about uh, Ghana, the pros and cons, mm. you know. Um, everyone is different. Yeah. So, um, you know, come to experience so that you can see if it's the kind of place yeah. that where you would like to be, yeah. you know. But, um, you know, if you want a new life, if you want to be in a place other than uh, the Americas or yeah. the Western yeah. um, world, this is a good place to be. Right. You know? um, but uh, I would say come. Okay. Take your time, take a look around, but do come. Wonderful. And if I don't see you again before you go back to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. I hope the rest of your time in Ghana is amazing. And when you go and you yes, come yes. back, yes, you can get more plots. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this one <coughs> at the view or Black Star Village. That's yeah. right. That would Absolutely. be wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Kristen and Shirley, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you for telling us your story. Mm -hmm. I had an amazing time with you. Oh, and really? guys, we still have plots available on all the sides. So if you want to be a homeowner as well, you can contact us on all our outlets. We are ever available to serve you. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Mm -hmm.